we want to graph this function. Now this is what we call a piecewise function, and it's because we're just gonna graph a piece of the function that is between, or that lives up to these restrictions. So first of all, if I take f of x is equal to y is equal to negative one, or y is equal to negative one, well that's just a, a horizontal line at negative one, so it would go all the way across here if I graphed the whole thing. I just want the part that is in between zero and one, and since it has the less than or equal to signs, I'm going to put closed dots at those two points and graph that, and then you can actually just erase the rest of your graph. You don't need that. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this second one. I'm gonna take y equals x minus two, and I wanna graph it, but I'm just gonna keep the part that is in between x is equal to one and three. So if I graph this, my y-intercept is at negative two, so that would be down here. I'm just gonna put it lightly so I can erase it. And then my slope is one, so it would go up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. So this is the whole line. Now if I just need the part of the line in between one, which is right here, and three, which is right here, I can erase everything else, and it is gonna have solid dots at these two points. So I'm gonna have a solid dot here and a solid dot here. So there's that part of the line. Then the last part, y is equal to positive one for x is greater than or equal to three. Well, y is equal to one is gonna be a horizontal line right here at positive one. And if I start at three, which is right here, greater than or equal to three, and since it's gonna continue on, I'm just gonna erase the part that would be on that side. And that's all it is to piecewise functions. You're graphing however many separate functions, but you only keep the parts of them that fit your restrictions.